Hello, my Scorpios, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course, I'm Debbie, and I'm reading for June 23rd to the 29th. Now, remember, these are general readings, may or may not resonate. So take what you like and leave the rest, okay? Keep your energies up, my Scorpios. All right, I've done an overview um, what's going on for the week. Please go ahead and watch it. It is called Interesting Times because we are always in interesting times. We are now in cancer season. Uh, I feel like this is going to pull up a little bit. I'm feeling like you have the little piece of sand, little piece of sand that's in the oyster. It's a little irritating, but yet at the same time, it becomes the pearl and, and brings great value. I want to do a shout out to Luna, who is one of my favorite Scorpios. Doesn't mean the other ones aren't, but Luna, I do get a kick out of you. Anyway, Let's see what we have going on for Scorpios, Scorpios, Scorpios. Venus in um, Cancer will benefit you. Uh, it, it'll be a nice, like I said, it'll be, a, it'll be a rather soothing time. Okay, so let's see what we have for Scorpios. What do we have for Scorpios? <laughs> what do we have for Scorpios? Higher power, Holy Spirit, what do you want to tell Scorpios? Okay, we'll take this deck. One, two, and three. Three cards. These two are reversed. They are a little bit stronger. That's how I read them. First card is something is completed. Something is done. And you can celebrate. You can take a couple of big breaths. So this could be all those applications and interviews you've been going on. Now you finally got the job. Now you can celebrate. So four is stability, organization, and leadership. Uh, it is very, you know, it's like the four um, four legs on a table. As long as everything is working the way they need to work, everything comes out even. Gabriel is fire energy. It is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's passionate, burning, very determined. Aries is moving things forward in that north node right now. So, and we're about, you know, not quite, but, you know, after, I would say that whatever's going on now, you're going to hear it, you know, you're going to actually, so if it's a job, if it's a job, you're going to start closer to Leo season than you will, you know, than right at this moment. I mean, you could start tomorrow and that would be wonderful too. But a lot of the things that you've been working towards, a lot of the things you've been doing, there is a sense of completion and now you can breathe, you can breathe again, okay? So, and, and what, I t what I tell people with this card, it always is about, you know, you've gone to school or a trade school or some sort of school, you've graduated you can say yes now i can move on okay so there is you're no lo there's you're no longer stuck you're got, there's there's something that's happening that that unsticks you okay you're no longer stuck you can now make some better make some new decisions so time for a celebration abundant rewards for hard work release yourself from burdensome situations now that in itself is so you know this could be um you know, there, there's something with this that something that's been holding you back, something that's been tying you up. Now it's now you can let go. OK, you can let go of those, whatever that is. Now, next card reversed epiphany. Now, epiphany is also the hermit. OK, is also the light bulb. It's like, oh, I know what I need to know now there. It's like, wow, I finally get it. Nine is um, basically, it's like the end of a, of a season, an end of a situation. It's you've got all the pieces, you know what needs to be done. You just have to put it together like that puzzle and do it. Okay. This is also Archangel Raziel. Raziel is also with um, the magician as on earth, as in heaven. So on earth, the um, epiphany, Archangel Raziel has a lot of occult hidden knowledge and it's about prayer, meditating. It is about growing up spiritually, not just physically or mentally or emotionally, but spiritually. There is a deeper understanding of the universe, deeper understanding of your connection with God's source or whoever that is for you. So joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. So we got some interesting things. So epiphany could be that this is all an answer to prayer. You know, this, because this is a wonderful completion, answer to prayer, or maybe you need to go and have that, you know, have a little attitude of gratitude with this. 
but there's a moment where you have to kind of take a little bit of time and look to see where your how your journey has led you to where you are. Epiphany is also that time when you go light bulb, I finally understand. And then when I say finally understand, we only understand what we understand for that moment. There is so much more to understand. Here we go. Next card is six of Raphael. So we have a four, nine, six, six, nine, four. Six is the number of man. It's the energies you've put into something. Raphael is water energy. It's cancer. It is your energy. It is Pisces energy. So it is fluid, emotional, spiritual energy. Now the six of Raphael is nostalgia. I kind of feel like that this is all about letting go of yesterday and moving on into tomorrow. Uh, this is where you look back at your life and you're thinking, oh, it was so much better when I was a kid. It was so much better when this happened or that happened. You know, if I could go back five, tenths, 20, whatever years. And the thing about the six of Raphael is really that it, you're glamorizing it. You're, you know, it's, you know, you're, you have rose colored glasses. All of the lessons that you have learned, and I hope you, I hope we all learn whatever we have to learn, because I do not like repeating lessons, have brought you to this moment. So instead of thinking back, it's still it's time to stay in the present, and it's time to keep your eyes forward. So, but the six of Raphael says, enjoy your life. It's time to start enjoying your life. Also, embrace your inner child, new friends, or rekindled relationships children or childhood. So it's an interesting week for you. Very, very spiritual, very look at how far I've come. Um, you know, there could be, you know, it's kind of reminiscent of the past and kind of wanting to maybe hold on to that past. But that four of Gabriel says, no, you can't hold on to the past if you want to go forward. And that epiphany says, aha, it's, I got it. I got it. So let's see what else we might have. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else do you want to say? to your lovely, lovely Scorpios. Yeah, it's kind of a melancholy. It's a melancholy letting go and moving forward. But you know, there's got to keep those eyes, you know, eyes, eyes forward. Here we go. Reversed. 15. Now 15 is 555. Five, five. It is change, change, change. This is also the devil card in some other tarots. This is confronting your fears and moving on and, or, or not. I mean, you don't have to move on. That's the thing is then you're, you're living in a fearful environment. One new beginning, 10 transitional, five into change, transitioning into change, which gives you a new beginning should you choose. And that's one of the things that this card is telling you. Choose freedom. Okay, don't stay stuck. It's time to unstick. Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You could free yourself from the obstacles that you're so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you may act upon. So I really get this, you know, hey, look at all you've done. Keep going forward. You un there's a big, big spiritual understanding. You may want to stay in the in the past, but you can't. You got to move forward because there's so much more for you coming, Scorpios. Okay, let's see what we've got going on. But you don't have to. It's always, see, that's the thing. It is about choice. There is choice in what we do. Here we go. Let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else do you have? What else do you have for your lovely, lovely Scorpios? Again, it's, uh, you know, and I kind of feel like, you know, oh, so maybe this job, maybe this uh, new career turn, maybe this new path, maybe it's going to take you from where you are. And it's like, well, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. Oh, you know, and those always, like I said, it's choices. Reversed again. Now we have Water Lily Fairy. Ah, and it is telling you, stop taking directions from others that are not right for you. Gather your thoughts and start to walk your own pathway. Well, we keep talking about pathways. So what is your choices? What is your choice? What path do you want to take? Okay, let's go on. There is, I mean, there's a, you can always see where these, uh, these cards are pulling together. But again, choice, choice, choice. Your choice, my Scorpios. Okay, what crystal or energy would be helpful? would be helpful for Scorpios. What crystal or energy is helpful for Scorpios? I love 
crystals and energies. I'm, I'm taking some, uh, some online, online courses for them. I'm finding it's fascinating. It's fascinating. And again, it tells me the more you learn or the more you find out, the more you know how much you do not know. Here we go. Reverse. Uh, not reverse. Blue kyanite. I do, I do have some. I don't know if I have it here with me here or it's at my booth. Anyway, blue kyanite helps you to connect with animals, helps your telepathic abilities. Again, finding your true path and finding clarity. So there's a lot of path energy for you here. Finding your true path. Choice, your choice. Okay, my Scorpios, let's go on with these last cards, the Dream Oracle cards and see what do we wanna say, Scorpios? What, connecting with your, with animals, finding your true path. Here we go. Doctor, ooh, heal thyself. Ooh, are you always worried about everyone else and helping everybody else? And this is where you have to look, look at yourself first, okay? Look at yourself first. Interesting. Okay, my Scorpios. Make sense? Got a whole bunch, a little bit of overlapping pieces with them all. I hope it makes sense for you. Um, I've learned a long time ago, I don't have to understand it all, but I give you what I give you. Okay, do me a favor, my Scorpios. Go over here to do the like, share, subscribe. Click it on the bell for notifications. I'm on uh, Rumble and YouTube, so do it for both if you can. Most important part, most important part, always know, my Scorpios, that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.